All right, guys, today we're going to do back training hard and heavy. Now, a lot of the things that you've seen in the programs we've done over the past couple of years have included volume, angles, and higher repetitions. Um, you know, today I felt like getting back to some conventional style, basic heavy movements. Every once in a while, it's good to mix it up. I like to use a variety of techniques. Today I felt good, I felt strong, so I went through and I said, you know what, we're just going to go ahead and smash some basic heavy movements. The first heavy movement that we did was parallel grip, uh, wide grip pull downs. The wide grip pull downs target the upper part of the lat. They target some of the detail in the inner back. And if you hit it right, when you lean back slightly with your chest up, you're also targeting the entire outer leading edge of the lats to the point of the tip of the lats. Um, with a shovel grip, it's nice because it puts the bicep more in a neutral angle so that you're not necessarily targeting an aggressive supination or a twist. It's easier on the wrist for some people and it's a lot more comfortable. I like using it with a slightly wider than shoulder width grip because it provides a good angle for overall stretch and overall squeeze. I think I went up to uh, 200, 210 pounds on the pull downs, um, which for me is fairly significant with a good squeeze, a good contraction for somewhere around 10 to 15 repetitions total. It's good warm up, but also something that's good, put a little bit of a stretch, especially with the heavier um, exercises towards the end of the training. And then we move on next to uh, single arm uh, dumbbell rows. And these are one of my favorite exercises. I did four working sets. We worked our way up. Um, I think I did 120s, 140s, 160s, and then 170s. Oh, no, I believe I've been hit 180s. And the, the rep range for the heavy exercise is somewhere between um, eight to 10 repetitions for four working sets. On these, I felt good today. I wanted to go heavy. So I decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my time. I'm going to just smash single arm uh, bent over row uh, with the dumbbells. And um, eight to 10 repetitions, great exercise. From there, felt good. I wanted to keep it on the heavy side. So I went, wanted to work back thickness. We moved on to our rack pulls. The three quarter deads are something I like doing because they take the lower body out of a deadlift movement, but they still give your body uh, in terms of your back musculature, um, a lot more priority, just as if they were a deadlift and you can really p pound it hard. What you wanna be careful to do when you lift up is to lift the chest as you're pulling the weight upward, drop the shoulders, pulling the barbell, keeping it close to your thighs. So that way you're really getting a contraction of the scapula as you pull back. Now the range of motion isn't hugely significant in terms of um, full overall range of motion. The stretch is, is minimized by the rack. So you're actually pulling from a deadlifting movement only in the upper three quarters. But when you come up, one of the great things about being able to use the rack is you're taking stress off of the lower body and fo focusing it just on the upper part of the movement, which is the lats. You can tend to get a little bit more aggressive in the weight. So it becomes something that's a real direct power movement, a type 2B explosive movement to the um, upper, mid, and lower lats with a tremendous emphasis also on rhomboids and middle back thickness, especially when you pull back at the end. Remember, keep your shoulders low, stand up aggressively, keep the glutes firing, the feet fairly close together, weight on the heels, chin up, chest up, pull. When you explode through the movement, you're going to find that you're stimulating the entire lat complex. It's a real cool feel, especially the heavier you get. If you do it safely, you know, there's really nothing like it as far as uh, maybe squatting to give you overall systemic stimulation from the training. Real good exercise, especially following the fatigue that got brought in by the single arm bent over rows, which it's a killer combination, actually. It was a lot of fun. Then next, we moved on to one of my favorite uh, lower lat, point of the lat stimulating movements. This is a modified high cable row where we're actually sitting on an incline bench with our feet elevated so that it becomes a very shallow angle seated cable row. But the shallow angle seated cable row is also augmented by the fact that you can lean back, use a little bit of mo momentum to help drive a squeeze deep into the lower lats. So you get a nice lower lat stimulation and then into the rhomboids and middle thickness. So you get a good stretch, letting the weight pull you up from your hips. So at the top of the movement or the stretch, the beginning of the concentric phase, you're elongating your lats, letting the shoulders open up, letting the scapula open up. And then instantly you wanna retract the scapula, drop the shoulders, raise the chest, drive the elbows back, lean back with a little bit of momentum so you can hit that peak contraction at the bottom. The grip that I decided to use, it was a close grip V-bar. So it's a two D-handled 
V angled uh, close grip bar. The reason we decided to use this one because this one will allow you to keep the elbows close to the torso. Also put a, a little bit of less stress on the biceps while you're pulling back with the palms being facing each other in a neutral grip. So you don't have any supination, you don't have any twisting. What you have is just a nice, easy, natural angle. So there's less pressure on the overall bicep. Drive those elbows back, chest up, shoulders low, scapula retracted, squeeze, lean back, pinch, and then repeat by stretching forward as far as you can. It's a really neat way to stretch those lats out and then drive that contraction deep into the target areas. It's one of my favorite exercises, either to warm up with or as a finisher. And there you have it. That's um, hard and heavy basic back training. We did four exercises. We did the wide grip, shovel grip, um, high cable pull down, lat pull down. We did a single arm dumbbell row, went really heavy on those. We did our rack pulls. We got four sets of good, powerful, explosive movements. And then we went on to finish our modified high cable uh, close grip pull down or a close grip row rather. And like I said, that's one of my favorite movements. All of the angles of the back are targeted in this uh, program. So if you do this program after a few weeks, you're gonna find you're gonna get stronger. You're gonna get more powerful through the basic movements. And that will then of course, that's going to augment utilizing anything you do with back in all of the other movements, especially if you go into some isolation type movements and machines, you're gonna find that the compound movements tend to improve the performance of the isolation movements. Um, but this is something that's great for overall back thickness, back fullness. You're gonna find a great pump. Each exercise you wanna do four sets, somewhere between 10 to 12 repetitions. Increase the weight as long as your form is good to the point of momentary muscular failure for each of the exercises you perform. I hope you like it. Smash that back hard and heavy for increased back thickness. And we'll see you guys next time. It's all about finding the right music. Because you know, life's like a movie. You gotta have the right soundtrack.